Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Days of our lives, shocker, Philip's power play, brewing affairs, and a divorce on the horizon. Salem is buzzing with drama as fan favorite Philip returns, and this time, John Paul Lavoisier warns he's back for the Empire. Could his return be the shake-up the town needs? Meanwhile, tensions soar with whispers of Johnny and Chanel's potential divorce, while Paulina's alarm bells ring louder after a night of suspicious activities. And, as everyone in Salem talks about an affair that isn't what it seems, one thing is clear, nothing is as it appears on the days of our lives. Prepare for twists, secrets, and explosive reveals. Days of Our Lives exclusive, John Paul Lavoisier warns that Philip is returning home and that he is back for the Empire. It's the prodigal son again. Philip is being brought back to Days of Our Lives by John Paul Lavoisier, and this time, Victor's son is a man on a mission. This Friday, October 25th, is Philip's homecoming, and it's no accident that Xander is seriously considering accepting Kristen's offer to save Sarah on the same day. Ahead of his comeback, Lavoisier tells Soaps.com, This is my third trip back to Salem. I discovered that all three of their attempts to get in touch with me occurred around March, which is my birthday month. In late February, much like the last time a year and a half ago, the program made its initial contact. Lavoisier said yes, without much persuasion, and by March, he was out and running. It was my birthday on the fourth day I was there. Additionally, I worked on my birthday the last time I attended Victor's funeral. I'm kind of laughing to myself, thinking, oh, I'm kind of new again here. It's also my birthday. For at least the past two years, Days of Our Lives has been my birthday present. Is it possible that it will be a birthday gift three times in a row? That's still a long way off and uncertain. Lavoisier informs us that Philip will be staying in town for a while, as opposed to the last time that I had been back for Victor's funeral, even if he won't specify how long he will be there. Almost as soon as I was about to enter, I knew I was leaving. This time, however, I was aware that I would be filling in for an unspecified period of time, which was interesting. Philip returned for Victor's funeral the last time, according to his portrayer, told his loved ones that he was still alive, persuaded Brady to dismiss the accusations against him, and then left town with Chloe. It was brief, but it put Philip in the right place for this most recent comeback without having to fear being sent to prison for accusing Brady of killing him. This comeback was a little odd because Philip's character wasn't informed of the specifics of his return or reason for staying, and he didn't know until the scripts began to arrive. However, fans who have read the teaser for Days of Our Lives Fall Preview are likely to know quite well what Philip is up to in Salem. Because, as they will probably remember, the preview hinted that control of Titan would be up for grabs when someone challenged Xander against Victor's wishes. And we now know that it's Philip. Lavoisier teases, he's returned to defend Titan, uphold his father's honor, the empire he built, and assert his birthright to keep Titan going the way he felt his father would have wanted it to be, and to make it even better, to do things that maybe his father couldn't have, is what he wants. What's the short and long of it? He is returning to defend the Empire. Indeed, this is a significant departure from Victor's burial, where Philip explicitly said that he had no intention of interacting with Titan, particularly given the company's history of undermining his mental well-being. Although Vivian had supposedly been in charge of it at the time, nobody really believed it would last, and she wasn't exactly out to ruin the business. But now that Xander is considering selling everything to Kristen in return for the serum, Titan itself is in danger. Even before they had Victor's fortune to fight over, the two siblings had never really been on the same page. Lavoisier said, Philip may not have cared about the company during his exit but he does care about the wrong people, Xander, ruining it. He therefore feels compelled to keep it safe. Titan ultimately was his entire father's life. 
it was very significant to his father. Additionally, he must defend Victor's honor. Not that long ago, we would have assumed that Xander would undoubtedly win. Now, though? Lavoisier assures him that there will be many twists and turns along the way, so he had better prepare for the battle of his life. The newest addition to Days of Our Lives might be exactly what Salem needs. Days of Our Lives finally introduced us to Nancy's daughter Joy, whom we had been eager to meet for a while, following her recent return to Salem today. Even though we were aware that they were both coming, we can see why some fans would not know who Joy is and why it's difficult for them to recall her, let alone identify her. In summary, Joy wasn't truly introduced to us until Alex Ann Hopkins brought her to our screens. She was born in 2003, and her most recent appearance on television was in 2005. After Nancy, Craig, and Joy relocated to New York City, we didn't see Chloe's younger sister again until recently. She's grown from a toddler to an adult enough to share a beer with Johnny in that time. Despite the fact that we don't yet know a lot about Joy, her unusual birth may provide us some insight into who she is. Joy was created in order to save Chloe's life, you see. We're not implying that her parents don't love and care for her, but to be honest, she was essentially made as spare parts. Chloe had leukemia at the time, and no one could match her for the bone marrow transplant she required. Mom and Dad felt there was only one thing to do after learning that Craig was Chloe's father and having him tested to see whether he was a match. In order to donate bone marrow, they would conceive a new child. Despite the difficult pregnancy, Nancy eventually gave birth to a young girl who turned out to be Chloe's ideal match. And Nancy and Craig chose to name daughter Joy because she made their lives so much more joyful. As we previously stated, Nancy obviously loves her youngest child, in fact, she wants to do everything in her power to get her on body and soul. However, Nancy is also aware of how much of a handful Joy has grown, with a propensity for stirring up trouble. We would also understand if the newest member of Salem has a slight grudge. You must feel the weight of being the bonus child. But for all of us who like a little more drama on our TVs, it might work out. Joy might end up being just what the doctor prescribed for Salem. There haven't been many plotters like Sloan, Gwen, Nicole, or Sammy. Sophia has potential, but a high school student can only do so much harm. Salem might be in for a lot of problems if Joy truly does inherit her mother's traits while also feeling like she has something to prove all the time. This makes for entertaining viewing. And if Joy is already becoming entangled with Johnny in his current illogical, jealous state, that goes double. Let's just say, bring it on. Days of Our Lives Tuesday, October 22nd Recap Paulina's Concerns, Bonnie's Co-Star Mission, and Johnny's Drinking Buddy. According to the Tuesday, October 22nd spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Stephanie Johnson went to dinner with Jada Hunter and confessed to having sex with Alex Kiriakis once more. Although Stephanie didn't want to jeopardize their friendship and wasn't certain Alex felt the same way, Jada believed Stephanie harbored lingering love for Alex. Stephanie stated that she was done having sex with Alex because she didn't find the concept of friends with benefits satisfying. Jada certainly didn't appear to believe that. Justin Kiriakis then arrived to Alex's house with a pumpkin to carve and some beer to share on Tuesday's episode of Days. Since Stephanie didn't feel that way about him, Alex ended up acknowledging his complex relationship with her and acting as though his sentiments were unimportant. On Tuesday's episode of Days, Bonnie Kiriakis was thrilled to have Nancy Miller join her at the Kiriakis mansion. Nancy said that she came there in the hopes of landing her daughter Joy Wesley a part on body and soul. Joy had been so lost lately, so Nancy hoped this position would help her find her calling. Bonnie promised Nancy that she would try to get Joy a job and put in a good word for her. During Tuesday's Days of Our Lives episode, Chanel DiMera called Johnny DiMera in the town center and asked if they could have supper together. 
While Johnny was truly drowning his sorrows at small bar, he made up a story about working late at the studio. Chanel lied to hide her plans for a surprise party by saying she was running an errand at the pharmacy when Johnny pointed out that she hadn't been at Sweet Bits earlier. Johnny became enraged after they disconnected after having a flashback to meeting Chanel in Alex's flat. As she was freshening up in the bathroom, Joy appeared a few moments later and convinced Johnny to order her a beer. Joy complained about how difficult it had been to travel with her mother all day when she got back. Johnny yelled at Joy because he wasn't interested, but he later acknowledged that his wife's infidelity was the only reason he was upset. Joy felt sorry for Johnny when he related the whole unpleasant story, at least from his own faulty point of view. Joy also believed that Johnny ought to speak to his wife, but Johnny told her that he wouldn't tonight and grinned at her as if they were about to hook up. Chanel had supper with Paulina Price again in the town square on Tuesday's episode of Days, and she predicted that after she finished this initial scene with Alex, everything will calm down. Paulina was uneasy when Chanel said that Alex was assisting with Johnny's surprise birthday celebration on set. Chanel pretended that it would improve relations between everyone, even if Paulina didn't appear to think it was a good idea. Keep checking back for updates on all the chaos, as spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Chanel and Johnny's marriage is ready to fall apart. Days of Our Lives Chanel and Johnny, Divorce on the Horizon? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Chanel Dupree and Johnny D. Mara are having a difficult time. He thinks she had an affair with Alex Kiriakis, her attractive co-star. But it was the actor, not the former baker turned actress, who was having sex with Stephanie Johnson. While seeming to be very private, Chanel is organizing a surprise birthday celebration for Johnny on the body and soul set. Furthermore, according to insiders, the irate director still has the wrong impression and might bed the newcomer, Joy Wesley in order to exact revenge. However, Johnny might feel too terrible if the truth about Chanel is revealed. Will he share with her how his presumption led to the arms of another woman? Before the month is up, the couple might be out of the 60th season of the NBC Peacock exclusive. Chanel organizes Johnny's party. According to Days of Our Lives teasers, Chanel Dupree intends to give her husband, Johnny DiMera, a surprise birthday present. She also wants to use the body and soul package to host a fantastic birthday celebration for him. However, he is occupied with deceiving her about his location. When the director saw his wife in Alex Kiriakis' apartment, Days of Our Lives viewers noticed that he was having second thoughts. But she went to see the hottie to seek for his assistance in organizing the office party. Johnny, however, believes Chanel and the ex-playboy are enjoying a seductive liaison. Stephanie Johnson has been having an affair with Alex. The director and Joy Wesley are seen sharing drinks at a pub, while the acting baker converses with her mother, Paulina Price, according to Days of Our Lives recaps. However, Johnny continues to believe that his wife had an affair with Alex Kiriakis. Chanel organizes her husband's surprise party in the meantime, but she still doesn't know what he believes she done. On the Peacock soap opera, that will soon change. Does Johnny go to the couch for casting? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Joy Wesley starts a chat with Johnny DiMera, who is clearly headed in the wrong direction. He is furious because his wife had an affair with Alex. But he's completely mistaken. However, he lets his mind run wild and thinks the worst about his wife instead of speaking with Chanel Dupree or facing Alex Kiriakis. Recaps of Days of Our Lives reveal Nancy Wesley, Joy's mother, discussing scheduling her daughter's audition with her close friend Bonnie Lockhart Kiriakis. Nancy introduces the lead actress to her daughter. The women are unaware that the aspiring actress and the director already exchange drinks. According to teasers for days, Nancy worries her daughter's extracurricular involvement with Salem males. Is Johnny DiMera her first conquest? 
everything suggests that the answer is yes. On the basis of merit, will she get hired as an actor? Or is he going to hire her to get even with Chanel Dupree? Keep an eye out. Is Chanel's relationship with Johnny permanent? Days of Our Lives spoilers indicate that when the truth is revealed, Chanel might not be able to forgive her husband's erroneous assumption. Additionally, according to insiders, Johnny makes an effort to get her back. But will the once-happy pair from NBC's longest-running soap show still be together? Will Johnny's affair with Joy cause Chanel of Days of Our Lives to sue for divorce? Body and Soul, the soap within a soap, might actually be cursed. To find out if Johnny D. Mara loses Chanel Dupree forever, keep checking back. Days of Our Lives Warnings October 23, everyone discusses the false affair. Regarding Johnny and Chanel, nothing is known. The clandestine sex that is occurring on the set of Body and Soul isn't real, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, October 23. How soap operatic. Leo's slack lips. The sound of his own voice reciting his own words is the only thing Leo enjoys more than hearing others do the same. Therefore, when he believes he has some information regarding the illegal sex occurring at Body and Soul, a respectable place of employment, don't you know? Leo runs to Stephanie and Paulina and rambles on about it. Compared to Stephanie, Paulina is more shocked. For apparent reasons. In particular, by whom does Leo blame? Take a break. Convinced that he knows who is having sex during body and soul tapings, Johnny is sulking around in the interim. Alex is right, and Chanel is mistaken. Because Johnny made snap judgments, he now refuses to change his mind regardless of the information that contradicts them. When Marlena sees that her grandson is being grumpy, she asks him why. All of this, however, occurs before Johnny discovers Chanel and Alex conspiring. For the dim bulb, they are organizing a surprise party. Naturally, Johnny believes he knows exactly what's happening. Make the decks clear. Nancy was unable to raise Chloe, her incredibly gifted daughter. Consequently, she was never given the opportunity to become a stage mother. Nancy appears to have decided she has been given another chance now that her husband is no longer around, Chloe and Parker are somewhere, and she has a lot of spare time. With Joy, Chloe's younger sister. Does Joy have the same talent as Chloe? We're not sure. She hasn't yet met us. Nancy, however, is committed to turning her into a celebrity. And to make that happen, she will offer Abe. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.